What's so special about Hero Bread's soft, fluffy, and delicious breads, buns, and tortillas? Hero Bread serves up 0 to 1 grams of net carbs, 5 to 11 grams of protein, and high fiber in every delicious serving. Made with natural ingredients, Hero Bread supports gut health, promotes weight management, and helps maintain blood sugar. Hero also drops other limited edition ultra low net carb goodies like rich flaky croissants and buttery brioche slider rolls. Head to hero.co to shop today. Welcome back to Cozy Womb Podcast. My name is Shan, Mama of the Girls. Ooh, I got a good one for you guys. For this show, this is season nine, episode 20. What are companies collecting from your kids? I think a lot of parents are not aware of this. I think a lot of parents um, are so happy that their kids have, you know, an iPad or a tablet or you know, a game that they could go on to give them a break for whatever reason, okay? Trust me, I've been helping a friend move for the past five days, and as much as I hate telling them, turn down that iPad, it's been um, helping me have my sanity during the move because they have to be with me, especially during this COVID mess, so... um, I just wanted to talk about that because smart technology is taking over whether we like it or not. Um, Digital fingerprints are being used. And if your kids are on them, (sighs) people who prey on kids are on them too, okay? And we have to be aware about what these companies are getting from our kids every time they log in and get on these games, these YouTube channels, and what data is being shared, okay? I'm going to go through a iPad within this episode just to go through the settings. And if you have an iPad, whip it out and we could go through it together. And there are some steps in there that you can take to go ahead and make sure that um, certain things are not being shared on the iPad. Okay? But I'm going to focus on what companies are collecting from your kids because that's super important today. Let's get into these messages before the show. Before the show. (laughs) Hey guys, just a reminder, there is Mama's Cozy Closet that has some merch on there for moms out there. So if you're interested in getting a cute sweatshirt. That kids again. Getting a cute sweatshirt, a fanny pack or a mug. I got some goodies on there for you guys. All right. Peace. All right, so both of my girls have an iPad. Is this dead? Let me see. Ooh. Oh, yeah, her iPad's dead. All right, so let's go get Anya's iPad. I took Anya's iPad away from her earlier because she was being mean. <clears throat> you know, sister rivalry. I wanted to talk about um what companies are getting from our kids because it's super important to be aware. Um, technology's everywhere. You know, whether you have a Nest, a Ring Bell, a um Google Light, a Google Light. Yeah, they have Google Lights where you can control it with your phone. Uh, um. A Google Home is what I meant to say. They is taking over, okay? And we can't sit here and act like that's not something that's going on. Oh, man, I think her iPad is dead, too. I took it from her earlier. Oh, I think I turned it off. Hold on. I don't think it's dead. It's not dead. I just wanted to go through an iPad on this video while on this video on this episode while i have you guys on here hope you guys are doing great Ooh, um anya just had a like a quote-unquote fall break it's really a break so um teachers could have their sanity back for a little bit so tomorrow she starts school and her and ari been in there for the last three three and a half hours chopping it up just like talking and playing and talking 
And I'm going to love it when she has to get up for that alarm in the morning. But, okay. If you have the iPad, you turn it on, you go into settings. When I get their iPad and I set it up, I like to go to, um, I like to go to privacy, okay? You go to privacy, um, and you go to location services. Um, location alerts, show map, and location alerts, that's fine. App store, I have it set to never, sharing their location. Calendar, never. Camera, never. Photos, never. Um, Safari websites, never. Siri, while using it. So if she says, Siri, where's Forest Park? It'll pop up. Snapchat, um, never. No. Um, weather, ask. Then if you go into system services, it may ask you Apple Pay Merchant Identification. Never. Fam find my iPad. Always keep that on just in case your iPad is missing and you can find it. Um, Location-based alerts for, like, the website. Never. Not on. Network wireless. That's on. Setting time zone. That's on. Share my location for the Find My iPad and um, the weather. That's on. Significant locations. Off. If you leave that on, it will calibrate and start collecting data for everywhere your child's been with this iPad, okay? And I always make sure that that's off. iPad analytics, I don't have that on popular near me. I don't have that on routing traffic. She doesn't necessarily need that on, okay? And to me, she doesn't need that. Control, you could customize the controls that are shown on here. Font, I usually have their font really like big enough for them to not strain their eyes. I, um, you can come in here and do screen time and schedule the amount of screen time and app limits that they can have. Let's see, app limit, um, talking time. Did your child have talking time? I'm going to do 30 minutes of talking time, okay? And then that'll go off, okay? For Pokemon Quest, 30 minutes. It's not an educational game. You don't need to be on it. Communication limits is on. Um, choose apps you want at all times. That's on. Content pri privacy restrictions. Block inappropriate content. Um... You can go in there and really restrict this iPad, okay? I'm not sure on how Samsung's work, but you can really restrict it. The issue with restricting it is if you turn on a lot of restrictions, you won't be able to message. You won't be able to FaceTime. You won't be able to get on the internet. And it sort of makes the iPad pointless. But if you can monitor the iPad like for Anya... She cannot have regular YouTube, but she can have kids' YouTube, okay? For Aria, she, I, her dad did put regular YouTube on there, and she has kids' YouTube, but I don't have to worry about Aria going in and getting specific videos. For Anya, I do. So I just limit that. But there is a way to go ahead and limit what's happening on the iPads, and I think we all should do that, and we all should go into the Safari and, and look at, like, what our kids are looking at. I um, block cookies on the iPad. Um, I put the fraudulent website warning on. Ain't no Apple Pay because she has nothing on here. I block pop-ups. Um, favorites is on here. Not putting frequently visited sites. Her iPad's on 10%. Um, you know, just keeping it really simple and, um, ask for camera on websites, ask for microphones so that it doesn't automatically go on there, um, ask for location and yeah, I just really keep my, my 
you know, focus on what they got going on on their iPads because it's super important. So let's get into like what these companies are taking from our kids. All right. These companies. Smart technology is being used. Private info is being collected. Digital fingerprints are being used. Nest cams, kids games, targeted ads are being used. Preferences on Amazon and Google is giving companies feedback on what these kids want, okay? Companies have so much data collected from your kids, how they play, why they play, how many apps do they download. I don't let Anya download apps every day. As much as she wants to, I'll tell her no, okay? I might do two apps a week if we delete something that's on the iPad. Companies get ideas about women being possibly pregnant depending on their searches. Did she search a pregnancy test? Did she search, um, uh, you know, signs that you're pregnant? Okay, now you're going to start seeing um, baby ads, a lot of Gap ads, a lot of Carter's ads. A lot of um, Similac ads. Like, you'll start seeing that. That is companies getting feedback based upon your searches on things, okay? It's not a coincidence. And sometimes these these devices are listening to what you're talking about, okay? So be aware of that. It's called sharing ting. Sharing ting is... When parents willingly give away their kids' info, name, and date of birth, okay? Um, Websites like Publix may ask for it so they can give you the year um, of coupons for your first um, child's year. And they'll use that as, okay, this person has a child that's this age and they've shopped here um, 63 times in the first year of this child's um life okay so it shows that if we go ahead and we do this promotion for the first year of this child's life with this person we can retain this company customer as a loyal customer for years to come because they love shopping here okay companies will do that okay identity theft is really big right now with people making their children ig pages making their children Facebook pages, putting their children's first and last name on Facebook. And companies use Facebook to search people to see like what they really got going on. So be be aware of that. Um, companies use your children's pictures if you don't read the privacy um, breakdown on a lot of these terms on these websites, okay? Uh, right now, when your child child starts public school, they're going to send out a document that says, if you do not want your child's picture taken and being used for publications for the school, please sign here, yes or no, and sign and date it, okay? People are using your children to market things, to sell things, to get people to buy things. And if our child does not want to be seen or we don't want our child's privacy being taken advantage of, put less things out there about your children, okay? No child needs a, a, a IG. No child needs an Instagram. So don't even set it up to do it. I don't have personal Instagrams for my kids. I'm not going to let them set that up because I just know what type of huge window that is, okay? Um, Live location sharing, um, I turn that off, okay? Anya loves Snapchat for these filters, but I turn that off. Ari does not have Snapchat on her um, iPad, but if she did... She will go ham, okay, because she loves taking pictures. Ari is that kid that will tell tell you in the middle of lunch to take her picture. I don't know where she gets that from, but that's just her personality. So just be aware of that. Watch out for Snap Maps. On Snapchat, they have Snap Maps where people can say where they are through the picture, through the video. Look out for that. Turn that off. Um, Smart toys are collecting info from your kids. Privacy wars are going on. The whole issue why we have the orange man 
talking about what American company is going to buy TikTok, um, is going to allocate TikTok, is because China has been getting a lot of people's personal information and data through TikTok for months now. And it's been in lawmakers' rooms of, like, topic of a conversation. But everybody's loving TikTok, especially during this quarantine. It's just something to do. It's really fun. But there's always some type of underlying um, idea or thing that's happening with these apps, okay? And we have to pay attention. Posting photos of your kids versus actual photo albums is what we're living in. Who has photo albums in their house right now? I know I do. I still go to Walgreens and print my pictures and have them in the house. But a lot of people have gone completely digital. Where if these websites shut down, if Facebook shut downs, IG shut downs, and, and, and then Snapchat shut down, a lot of people won't have any pictures. Is Google Photos say, you know what, we're going to go ahead and, go ahead and cancel this whole idea? A lot of people will lose a lot of pictures and data because nobody has actual tangible anything anymore. Okay? A lot of people are raising their children completely in this digital land. Okay? Some people have no key to get in their car. Some people have no key to get in their house. They use a code or they use a fingerprint. Think about it. If your fingerprint is being transferred from a device, a physical device that you have in your home, into some type of digital uh, thing. I don't even know what you call that. And then it unlocks something. Wouldn't that fingerprint be used for something else? That fingerprint and that device has now been one. It's, it's joined by collecting your data from your physical body. And people don't break break that down. And if your kids physically are putting their fingerprints on devices that have location because the the iPads, the iPhones, the iPods, if if you have an iPod touch still like me, um the screen is fading. <laughs> they all collect data. Okay, these passwords, they all collect data. And then you have companies that have created businesses based upon keeping people's passwords because everything has a password and everything wants to update the password. So it's just so much to keep tabs on. It's just so much to be aware of. But don't allow the world to get to your children before you do, okay? Protect your children digitally. This been there's um card floating around where children can now get their own debit card and they can you know be in control of their money and on this card is these kids' pictures and I just feel like for privacy reasons, I wouldn't want my child's picture on a piece of plastic connected to money. I just don't. Like, it's nice that they can access um, money and, f- and finances, but why, why is it that their picture, their physical picture is on this card? Okay? And we have to be smart about these marketing campaigns that people have. We have to be smart about who has access to seeing this. I have a lot of friends... I'm not going to say a lot. I have a few friends who have children who in their IG posts, their Facebook posts, they purposely don't show their children's faces for privacy reasons. And I understand it. In this day and age, people are stealing people's pictures from their kids, making new pages. I just had a um, a fake page contact me on Cozy Womb on IG trying to tell me about um, this grant that's going around and the person for the real page contacted me and said can you please report that page because it's fraudulent like these are times where people are quick to share information because they are in need and then whoop boom there you go your account's empty charges are being charged 
your friend just so happened to change their number and they're contacting you and they need X amount of money because they need a tow truck. Like people are being really um, quick about how to get some quick, quick, quick cash. And we have to be smart about what we expose our kids to. Read the terms and conditions of these websites, of these games. Um, a lot of people think it's so cool to have a grandbaby or, you know, a baby that's very popular on Instagram. Um, IG kids is a cute thing to do. Uh, allowing your child to have a Instagram page, you know, that's a cu- cute idea. To an extent, to an extent, because I don't know. I grew up as a kid that played outside. I was never concerned about being on a computer as a kid. Um, even when there was AOL dial-up, I wasn't really on it like that. Um, I feel like kids deserve to be kids. They're going to have so many years where they can be on a computer and a device for work or to pay bills and things. Let them be kids. Let them go out and play. Let them um, interact with other kids. Let them feel something tangible and and stop you know wasting away their eyesight and their fingers and their their minds of buying more coins and building more roadblocks and and like come on like we have to give our kids a break these companies are no longer interested in us these iphones and ipads they're not for us they're for our kids okay you look at your whole kids' virtual setup right now with school. It's like they're at work in corporate America. They have their mouse pad. They have their laptop. Some of them have their own desk. Some of them have like their own files, folders, um, books. Uh, they're clicking in and out of Zooms. They know how to use the search engine. Like They're setting up our children to be workers in the world very fast. It's no coincidence that this quarantine and this COVID-19 that's patented since last year, vaccine um, is patented, this this COVID-19 is patented, it's setting up our children to be workers, okay? So just be aware about what these companies and their agenda is when it comes to our kids so we can make better decisions. That's all I'm saying, because if I peep it, I know there's some other parents out there that peep it, okay? And it's very, 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 very smart to go back behind your kids and ask them about games that they're playing and see how they win in the game and what's the whole idea behind the game and how long have you been playing the game and why do you like this game so much? And what is the game saying? Even the Talking Tom. Talking Tom... Is an interactive cat that repeats what you say. And you can touch things on Talking Tom and he'll react. But Talking Tom is always listening. What information is a company getting behind Talking Tom? We have to be mindful of what is going on on these kids' devices. That is all I'm saying. I'm not saying completely take this stuff away from them. I'm saying be aware of it. Read the fine print. Okay? Know what you're consenting yourself to and your family to. Thank you for listening to Cozy Womb. Just wanted to share some information. Peace. Bye. Bye.